a follow on from yesterday's um, video which was um, testing this Vivor um, 30 litre 12 volt fridge freezer 30 litre 32 litres something like that and it's um, their uh, middle middle sized fridge freezer um, they go right up to 50 litres which has a, a separate fridge to freezer compartment which I think is a really good idea um, so far we've had it a few weeks now it has been excellent um, I did a little test with um, a super power pack which was this one um, it's a Bowden's rebranded one um, by super uh, that's the make you can see it there um, yeah not not bad unit that that one um, it ran it for it ran it for um, 25 hours in eco mode um, down to minus five minus six minus seven around that temperature it did fluctuate a little bit so what I was thinking of doing was um, because there's so many this so many of these little power pack units on the market now um, by all powers Jackery Yeti um, God there's so many um, Petcron um, Bowden's this is this is an all powers unit uh, this was one of the first bits of kind of techie gear that I got really um, which is got a pure wave inverter in it, wireless charging on the top, a um, couple of lights, um, two AC plugs at the front, and then you got four DC on the back, a um, couple of outputs here, uh, USB C, normal USB, and then you can charge it via. The DC jack on the outside and the um, the car charger, um, which is what I'm going to be powering the fridge on. We've got an Anderson um, adapter here as well, but that doesn't seem to work on mine. So what we're going to do is oh, the good thing about these is um, it shows you the watts. It shows you the watts in and out, which um, the super. Um, unit doesn't do it just has a percentage so when I plug this in um, what you'll get is it gives you an idea of how many watts um, it takes on the different settings which I think is really good so what we'll do is we'll plug it in so that's on um, we'll pop it on and you can see and just get that a little bit closer. Um, just so you can see at the moment in eco mode with the compressor on, um, so we're going to take that down to the same as yesterday, which was minus five in eco mode. Um, and that is pulling 32 watts which I think is pretty good now if we put that up to if we put that up to if we put that up to maximum just bear with me a moment while I do that right Right, so that's showing maximum now, right, and that should, in a minute, the watts will go up, so it's gradually going up, let me just rotate that so we get a better, better view, so that's going up from 34, up to 37, 38, 39, it should reach about 40, 44 watts, I think. Um, 
so obviously that's an increase of um, sort of 10-ish watts um, so it does make a big difference to um, how much it's going to use from this unit um, so that's going up to 46 48 going up to 50 48 so it's it's settled at sort of 47 48 watts now if I switch it so we've got according to that we've got about seven hours out of this unit um, if the compressor was continuously on now if we drop that back down to eco mode which is what that's back on now yeah and then you watch that immediately drops to 32 watts so uh, 32 33 34 so you've immediately gained like an hour hour and a half two hours it's going up nine hours now nine hours ten nine hours thirteen so you're already increasing um, how much time you're going to be able to run that fridge off this little unit yeah so eco mode I think is a brilliant um, option on this unit um, so a couple of things about the all powers in comparison with the super unit um, you can see on there that coming out of the cigarette lighter we're only getting 11.9 volts um, cigarette lighters on these the 12 volt um, they're not regulated which is why we're getting a voltage drop up there that will actually drop down to um, under 10 volts but you have settings on this that account for that which is um, what you've got there is high medium and low um, and if you were running it from the mains then you would have it on high if you were running it from a battery or say um, a car charger or something like that you would run it on low because it allows for that regulated um, the voltage to drop um, but the super unit because um, because it is a lithium phosphate where this is lithium ion um, the voltage on the super unit stayed at 12.5 virtually the whole time even when it was running down to zero so we're going to let that run now um, it's saying that we've only got um, we've only got about nine hours of power um, in this unit to run the Vivor fridge but once it gets down to temperature uh, once it gets down to minus five the compressor is going to switch off then it only draws about one watt which is for the little display um, and then uh, once the compressor goes off obviously it won't be drawing any power from from the unit so I don't think we'll get 24 hours out of this little pack um, the battery in the super unit is um, a little bit bigger um, not by not by much um, this one is this one is 100,500 milliamp hour so 100,500 milliamp hours on this one and the super unit is I think it's about a hundred thousand hundred and twenty thousand milliamp hours I think on this one so it's it's about twenty thousand milliamps difference between the two so how how much of a difference that'll make I don't know um, but we'll let it run we'll see how we get on this is a good little unit I mean it, it charges very quickly you can charge it at the same time as running the um, 
running the fridge off of solar um, and it'll take um, it'll take about 60 watts of solar um, so in theory with a decent amount of sun you've got unlimited power with a 100 watt or 120 watt solar panel attached to this you could run that fridge continuously um, because you're putting in more you're putting in more watts than you're taking out. We're only taking out 39, 40 watts, and if you're putting in 60, then you're always constantly charging the battery. So it's a good, good little. Um, it is a good little unit. It's been very reliable, considering how long we've had it. The build quality doesn't seem as good as the other one. I'll be honest with you, but um, then again. You know, one is one is slightly newer than the other one as well. So these have been around a while. Um, I think if you were maybe hiking or or something like that, and you wanted some form of big power pack, but not so big that it was weighing your backpack down, I think this would probably be the option to go for. The Bowden's slash Super Portable Power Pack. It's a hefty beast. It's um, made of more metal, where this one's a little bit more plasticky, um, and it's probably a bit too big, big for what you need. So yeah, we're going to let that crack on. Um, it's uh, it's not down to temperature yet. It's a little bit warmer today, so whether that gives it a slightly um, unfair advantage to the other unit. It was raining the other day, so the fridge might have been a little bit cooler to start off with. So we'll we'll just have to wait and see. I reckon we'll get, if I was to guess how long this power pack will run the fridge for, I reckon we'll get 20 hours out of this. Um, so it's... Um, it's quarter to three now, so we'll have to wait and see. Um, we'll come in and check on it every sort of six or seven hours to see how it's getting on. But um, yeah, it gives you that portability so that if you don't want, if you don't have the space in the van for the fridge freezer, you can just pop it outside in your awning. Obviously, we have got our main fridge freezer. Um, inside the van that's powered from our, our main batteries um, but when we go away there's six of us there's not a lot of space in the van um, the fridge freezer just takes up space so we tend to just keep it in the awning for when we need it and then the kids can kind of help themselves to ice creams and um, obviously it's a little bit cooler outside at night so it helps with um, with the ambient temperature being lower so then it draws less power from the battery to keep it to keep it cold um, so yeah we're gonna let that crack on and see how we get on I reckon 20 hours um, out of this one with no additional charging from a, from a solar panel or anything like that so but we're waiting to see maybe it'll maybe it'll surprise me maybe it'll um, it's got more more battery capacity than I give it credit for just physically the size difference between the two of them maybe because the super unit actually has a, a bigger inverter in it that one's able, um, capable of um, running at uh, between 5 and 600 continuous watts where this one um, can really only cope with about 350 400 so um, yeah we'll just have to wait and see how we get on so uh, we'll check in later.